Hello and welcome back to the final main season episode of Win One Take One. We're back here with Charlton, two games left of the season. You might be wondering about the Brazilian theme today. It's actually got nothing to do with this video, it's all to do with the live streams. If you're not familiar with the live streams, check it out, Work the Space on Twitch, link down in the description. Hopefully we're going to play like Prime Brazil. We've got Leeds, we've got Derby, let's gain some players and try and end things on a high, shall we? So yes, welcome back everyone. I hope you're keeping well. I'm excited to end things hopefully on a high here with Charlton. Today we've got, as I've already mentioned, Leeds and Derby. And uh, well, whilst our own league fate is relatively stable at this point, we won't be involved in a battle at the bottom, nor will we be challenging for the Europa League spot, sadly. Um, we can have a direct say on the title here, as in our penultimate game of the season, we take on Leeds United, who are currently first, and they are joint on points with Arsenal. So we can have a say here. We can have an influence on things going on at the top. Of course, we've kind of already done that in recent episodes, where we drew against Newcastle 2-2. I'm hoping that today we're going to go one better against Leeds United. That's the hope, and that's the dream. And then, well, after that, we've got Derby County, who themselves are down in 18th, only three points away from safety. We are their final game. We could be giving them a chance. We could not be giving them a chance. I'm not that merciful. I am absolutely playing to win that game. Anyway, before we spin the wheel, just a little refresher as to how the squad is looking. We have been using our 4-1-2-1-2. It's been pretty good. Of course, last episode, we played Steve Salmon in goal. Um, he got some mixed reviews. I felt like he looked like a fish in water. He looked very much in his element in goal, but the overwriting consensus was he probably shouldn't play in goal over Kylie. And you know what? The comment section for once might be spouting some common sense here that really I should be listening to. So I'm sorry, Steve. You've been a great servant. Uh, the green and yellow, it's not its its not for Jamaica, sadly, today. Um, it is for Brazil. We don't have any Brazilians, do we? Is there any Brazilians we can win off Leeds United? I feel like that would be a nice way to end things if they do have any Brazilian players. Do they have any? No. No. So in terms of Leeds United's team, they're going strong at the top of the table. We're looking to win a player or two off them. You can see they've currently got Rio Ferdinand out injured, as you perhaps can tell from the star ratings. Their team is very, very good. Some of their players valued relatively highly. And with that in mind, the wheel has to be kind to us today. In terms of positions I would like to solve, I mean... It's less about a position and more about an individual here, isn't it? I want Mark Viduka. I will also say a load of their players are suspended for today's game, so maybe we've got a chance. Maybe we could beat them. But, of course, in order to get Viduka, we need over, well, 8.5 million spun on the wheel, which, given this thing's track record, I'm not overly optimistic about. But either way, let's give it a whirl. And that's, that's what, that might be the spin of the series. That might be the spin of the series. It absolutely blooming is the spin of the series. That has landed on 200 million. I can't believe that's just happened. Wheel, you've been... I, we might be ending things on a high here. Right, Leeds United. I can win any of their players. I'm going for Mark Viduka. This is our second attempt at this. Maybe today's the day. So I feel like at this point, the team kind of picks itself. There's nothing crazy going on here. No players inducted from our previous match. So with that in mind, we go in at full strength. Although given Rosinski's recent performances, I'm kind of tempted to bring back in Salako. Okay, he's... The physicals are still... Um, okay, I've changed my... I've seen those red arrows. I've changed my mind. Jason Yule, one last hurrah with Jason. <sighs> the thing is, Rosinski's not been very good, has he, since we've signed him. He's not got a goal for us yet. It's not overly great. You know what? Jason, come back in, but I am going to play Ricketts as the advanced forward. I think that's the plan. Away from home against Leeds. This, this is going to be tough. So as we enter the game uh, for this kind of final episode, I guess it's worth acknowledging this is going to be the last kind of episode with the wheel and stuff of win one, take one. I might do a little sim into the future to see how our Charlton team does over the next season or two. Um, what I would say is massive thank you to everyone who's been watching this series. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It's really fun to do something a little bit different in Football Manager, certainly not your everyday football manager let's play um the interest for this series has been a little bit hit and miss it's certainly fizzled out you know relatively quickly obviously i know there's a hardcore contingent who have loved this i will say now i would love to do a series like this again um you know at some point in the future but the issue is that is that football manager is not meant to be played the way we've been playing it you're not meant to be adding or removing players morale and stuff just breaks and uh well ricketts i thought he was gonna score 
it's just gone wide. Um, but yeah, basically, the longer you play into a football manager save, the more that everything just kind of stops working. Um, so with that in all in mind, I feel like this is, you know, the right time to end things. We've had fun. I'm hoping that we're going to end things on a high. And, uh, well, win Mark Viduka. If we get Mark Viduka in the final episode, it would be like the perfect conclusion. Anyway, I mean, speaking of the devil, there he is trying to set up Alan Smith. Agarfe now with the ball and now with Danny Mills at right back. Ball played in Smith and I mean, it's a tame effort that's found the back of the net there, isn't it? It, it is a very, very, t not very Brazilian. I feel like I probably should elaborate on the whole Brazil thing more because you're sat thinking, Jack, you're wearing a Brazil shirt. There's like a Brazilian flags behind you on the like wall and stuff. What's happening? So just to clarify, the streamer showdown is going on this weekend as you watch it. The league stage was last night, the day that you're watching this video. I've got the knockouts this evening. If I've made them, I've not yet played the league stage to know if I've made the knockouts. But we've got a Brazilian team, and I felt like I needed to make them feel at home because, well, 16 of our 18-man squad are Brazilian. And, I mean, I'm taking it very seriously. Look, I've got flags. Uh, this is... I mean, as I said in the intro, if you're not watching on Twitch, you miss out on some absolutely bonkers stuff that you just don't, you don't get on YouTube. YouTube is how I act around my family. Twitch is kind of when I'm around my mates and things just kind of go wrong and a bit rogue, um, if that sounds enticing. Again, links down below. Ricketts, I thought he was going to get there. Anyway, I've done plugging Twitch and I've done kind of talking about the future of this series. I mean, d don't do it to me, Viduka. Don't do it to me, Smith. There, everyone else's strikers are just better than my strikers. Jason Yule doesn't do that. Rosinski doesn't do that. Salako can't do that. Alan Smith can. To be fair, it was a really nice finish. Who did he dance around there? Fishy. He's caught a bit flat-footed there. Was I mean, it, I'm going to be honest. If we just have an absolute rout here, I might just play Salmon in goal for the last game because he's never conceded for us. Right, Burley, free kick. We're not out of it yet, and that's got to be a penalty referee. Go to your little VAR, go on, what are they telling you? Well, penalty, that's what I'm hearing, penalty. I mean, it's never not a penalty in this scenario, is it? We've got a, we've got a way back into this game now. Oh, I was going to take Burley off it. I was going to put Jason Yule on it, but maybe, maybe the game has saved me here. Burley, he scored one, he's missed one, he's scored another. 2-1, we're back in this before half-time. Uh... We've not been particularly great this half, have we? But we'll take that against the runner play. And into the bottom corner. That's a very good penalty by Burley. You know what? He hit the woodwork and missed one once upon a time. He's scored a few since then. I mean, at half time, it's 2 1. There's only been eight shots on goal all match. And uh, it, it's anyone's game. Although we are, of course, going to have to keep this push going. If we were to lose this game right now, the player we would be losing is Jason Yule or Scott Parker. I don't really want to lose either of them. They're two players near and dear to my heart for slightly different reasons, albeit. 25 minutes left here. Young with the ball to Rufus. Could we get an equaliser and then try and push for a little bit more? Young with the ball here. Gives it to Parker. He dinks it forward. Ricketts is there. Tight angle. Going to be difficult to finish. He's going to look to hold it up. Forgets the ball exists, but it's okay. We've still got it. Jason Yule's there, and he heads over the crossbar. That is, by the way, the uh, the customary Jason Yule highlight for the match that we've just had there. So uh, we'd have to worry about it happening now. It's it, We've had it. And well, I don't want this kind of run where we're not winning consistently enough to keep on going. I want to win here. Viduka, Wilcox, Smith, his Everts box, Marky Fish gets it away. Who was that with the tackle? I think it was Powell. He has just saved our bacon there. 20, I feel like I've, I've got to start going for this game at some point. I was about to make some changes, but I was panicking as I clicked. I should pause the game, everyone. But then a highlight started. So let's see what happens here. McCann, he's bringing it forward. So good, he's got chips named after him. Wait, no, they're called McCain's. Uh, Smith through, goalkeeper, to the rescue. Not quite. Scored past Kylie. 3-1 leads. I mean, the ball by McCann is just absolutely nothing. But then, I mean... What has Matteo done there? That is the most insane clearance I've ever seen from a centre. He's just lumped it forward to Alan Smith. Right, we are chasing now. We need goals. We need heroes. Who are the heroes here? Who could we bring on to change the game? I mean, Luke Young hates right wing back. Kishishev, can you play right wing back? A little bit. He can play it well enough for me. I am going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Rosicki. And I'm going to take off McCann and bring in Gaza. 
Because I think Gaza at Mazala is what we've been missing here. I might just tell him to... Oh, he's already on. I was going to say, might just set him to dribble less so he's not running with the ball as much. But he's already got that on. Right. Is the impossible comeback on? We've got Gaza on the pitch. Kelly's bringing it forward. I mean, this would not be the ideal, you know, immediate aftermath of tactical changes. Although Kylie, he's made a save, everyone. He's not made enough of those today. Okay, there's, there is 10 minutes left. I think I've got to go, I've got to go for this more. But we already kind of are doing quite a lot. Throw it long to the wingbacks. I don't mind that. Out of possession, though. Press. Press like you've never pressed before. Five minutes. I'm hoping for a miracle. We need two goals. Ipswich did it against us once upon a time. I'm feeling like we're two minutes left and our highlight starting in our half. Any hope has kind of gone, but... Could we get one back? Could we make it look better in the history books? Burley flicks on to Ricketts. He's bringing it forward. Where's he going to go now? Ricketts. He dances past one. He dances past two. And then he kicks it straight into Martin's hands. I mean, we've only scored a penalty here. We have not been good enough in front of goal. Could we make something happen here? Kishishev on off the bench. Giving away the ball. And I kind of feel like this is just a pointless highlight we're being shown at the end of the game here. 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. No, 30 seconds left. I wish there was 30 minutes left, damn it. We might have a chance then. Who are we going to lose at the moment? Scott Parker's on a 6.2. Carrick's on a 6.3. I think we might be about to lose. The player who, when we joined the club, was the star player. Now, whether or not he's still the star player is perhaps up for debate. But I do worry that when we sim forward seasons, there might be a Scotty Parker-shaped hole in this team. And that is all she wrote. 3-1 it finishes, leads the better team. We really, we didn't really do anything in the second half. It was one of those games where I was like, we'll go more attacking, and then nothing happens. Sometimes, sometimes football managers like this. I forgot to check who had the lowest rating. Who had the lowest rating? I Alan Smith got one of the match. Who, who for us was the worst? Oh. So, of course, we, we can only take off starters. I feel like that got a bit confusing for some people a few episodes ago. When uh, we did, we aren't getting rid of Paramati, but it's a starter. Now we've got Carrick on a 6.3, Parker on a 6.3, and Jason Yule on a 6.3. I don't think it takes a genius to know who I'm going to get rid of here. Jason, it is nothing personal. I will admit, it is a little bit, it is a little bit personal. Get him off to Leeds United. I've had enough. Get out of my sight. You have caused me an absolute headache. <sighs> I mean, the Jason Yule dilemma is gone. Unfortunately, with that... I don't think we can get top half anymore. We can aim for 13th, everyone. If we beat Derby on the final day, who themselves need a win to... May, I was going to say to stay up. They need to beat a 16-0 or something to that effect and have a 16-goal swing. It's probably not going to happen. So with that in mind, we have another chance to steal another player away from them. They've got Poom in goal. I mean, to be fair, the rest of the team is off. They're going down. We're not going to get anything of value here, but let's try and get ourselves a Jason Yule replacement. That's got to be the aim. Okay, we are back now for our final ever game here as Charlton manager in the year 2002. I guess it would be technically on this retro database. You can see here, with that win against us, Leeds have basically won the league at this point. They're three points clear with way better goal difference, so congratulations to Mark Faduka and co. As for us, well, we can't fall any further down the league, but I would like to try and get ahead of the likes of Leicester and Everton as we could. I feel like a 13th place finish, considering we started bottom at the very beginning, wouldn't be too bad of an end to things. Of course, for Derby... They are kind of already down. They have nothing to play for here. So this is maybe one final time for us to have a little bit of fun and get a few goals. And you know what? I feel like, given everything that we've been through today, there's some changes needed. So Salmon, he gets the nodding goal for the last ever game. Elsewhere, Salako, he's, he's going to play as a striker. I feel like this man was actually quite useful for us. I think when you look at his polygon, you would think he is absolutely useless and that might be being a little bit generous to just how useful he is but you know what he's done a job for us he's been a helpful here and there and he is going to need to fill the Jason Yule kind of hole in all of our hearts right now as we go into this final game I mean if you think Salako's physicals are bad these are probably a little bit worse uh we'll probably bring him on off the bench or something I say that he was the first player we've won it'd be fair to say he's not become a legend quite in the same way if perhaps a few other players have in this team. But anyway, we're taking on Derby. I was about to submit a team. You would have thought after 13 episodes, I would have worked out the format for this series. Before we get into this match, we need to spin the wheel. Derby County don't really have any players of any value. 
nor any quality. It's why they're going down. But is the wheel going to give us the option to have free pick? Let's give it a whirl. That was a... the speed. I've mastered the art of spinning today. We have landed on 10 million. We can pick any player that we want. Let's dispatch this Derby team. Salmon's in goal. He's going to lead the line. That's not what a goalkeeper does. He's going to hold the fort or something. I don't know. Let's get into this. Marky Fish. I don't talk about you nearly enough. I feel like me and Marky have, you know, we've come on a long adventure together. Let's end it on a high. Let's, you know, show all the progress we've made. Show that we don't need no Jason Yule. We're a strong, independent, relegation-avoiding squad that doesn't need no Jamaican international. I say that. We've got another Jamaican player in the team in Salmon in goal. Oh, we sit here at the Valley. I don't know if I've quite done the, the ghost of Alan Kerbishly proud, really, since we replaced him as manager. I mean, Charlton really weren't a bad type team in this era. Uh, I feel like we've done well to climb up the league like we have. I would have loved to have won a few more bigger players, but it, it just wasn't meant to be. Right, Fish, I need a magic show from you. Can you put it on a dish for our strikers to gobble up? Ricketts is there. Chrissy Powell with the assist. 1-0 up. 16 minutes gone. I don't know who... I'm going to look for the most meme player at Derby to sign. Ricketts, though. I mean... Ricketts has been amazing, but it does make me think, what if we had got Owen? What if I could have got Mark Viduka in that FA Cup game against Leeds? How high up the league could we have gone? I, if you told me at the start of the series, the player I'm most excited about having got and who's really performed for us was Michael Ricketts, I probably would have been a bit disappointed, but not me, not now. I've I've learned to love him. I've grown to adore this side and I want to win more. one more. Burley, good tackle. Young, Carrick, Burley. He plays it forward. Ricketts is not going to get there. Aranio now for them on the far side. Brings it forward. Fred through Ravinelli and... I mean, maybe Salmon shouldn't have started. I don't think Kylie stops it. That, that's the... that's the, I can't prove or disprove that. I don't think Kylie stops this. He's hit it very, very hard at the youngster. It's not very fair, is it? All right, well done. He's 16. I hope you're happy now. Just bullying, bullying little old Salmon. I will say, if we do fail to beat this Derby County side, I will be a little bit embarrassed because they are not good. We should be beating them. Now, whether or not Salmon being picked in the team will play a role in any struggles, I, I will claim is up for debate. But I, I want to... Um, that's not the ball, is it, pal? There gives it away. Higginbottom now bringing the ball forward for them. Can we do some defending? Of course we can. Scotty Parker's still in the team. He saved his average rating last time out, and he's Fred through Ricketts, who has to finish this, oh my word. That was a needlessly powerful finish that he's just smashed against the crossbar. Oh, it's in Christie. Is Kylie on the bench? Is Kylie... I don't have a, go I don't have a goalkeeper on the bench. Also, the highlight just got skipped. Well, I guess we're not watching that goal. Okay, we are right before half-time here. I want it to be 2-2 two -two before... We go in for the break. Is there a chance of a late goal here? Powell bringing it forward at left back. Plays it forward to Salako. Back with Powell now. Options in the middle. Tries to throw through Burley. Does so. Can he pull it back? He's, he's, he's gone down. We're having another penalty, I think. And there's only one man I want over it. I may live to regret this. I may not. Stevie Salmon, take the penalty for me, son. Do it for me. Do it for us. Look at that is the best penalty you've ever seen in Football Manager. Stevie Salmon, the 16-year-old. He takes a bow in front of the crowd. I think that's what it was. It kind of looked like a it looked like a really crappy dance move. He's found the back of the net. Oh, it's a bit I mean that we've just given him the highlight of his career. I now just I want to follow the adventures of Stevie Salmon into the future. I'm delighted. Keep it going. Right. Early on in the second half here, they have a free kick in a dangerous area. Parker gave it away. Where are we? What are we doing? Are we going to mark anyone? Just a queue of Derby County players at the edge of the box there. That is not what I want to see. Young attempts a long throw. Doesn't beat the first man. Can't get it to Burley, but he whips it back into McCann. He has an injury. He has a yellow card. And now he's got the full house because he's got a goal to his name. It's 3-2 here. I'm thinking I should probably sub him off, even though he's just scored. I mean, the long throw didn't really work out, but Young, ball of quality in. McCann on his noggin, gets it across goal. Keeper can't get there. 3-2 Charlton, and I was about to say, I'm going to take off McCann. I can't take him off yet. Please don't just, like, collapse on the pitch or anything, McCann, now. 
of like a really serious injury because I can't deal with that. It's through to Ricketts. He's dinked it. It's in the bell palm corner. I don't know what's happening. It's a quick double to start the half. Powell's got another assist to his name from left back. McCann off for Gaza. It has to be done. I've missed the highlight again. Is that a thing in football, manager? If you make changes, like, during the highlight, it just skips the highlight. I feel like it's not done that for all the previous episodes. Am I wrong? I don't want to jinx it, but I've just seen the league table. If we win this game, we go up to 13th. We would leapfrog Leicester and Everton. We have something to play for. And, well, but Gascoigne's got the assist. Burley's got another goal. It's his ninth of the season, of course. Burley, we actually signed from Derby County as part of the win one, take one. Way back many, many episodes ago. I do wonder if in signing their captain and one of their best players, we condemned their fate of relegation. I mean, if there's any doubt of that, what cannot be in doubt is the fact that Burley doesn't seem to care about Derby going down. He's just busting out some moves and dancing as that ball finds the back of the net. Right, Powell. Can he get a hat-trick of assists? It's a big throw forward. O'Neill deals with it, but Parker back into the danger area. Gascoigne is not going to win that chase. Come on, Gazza. Get to the ball, mate. Run. You can do it. Burley. Ricketts. Should finish it. Not a great first touch, though. And actually, it was Cabanari, the defender, with a huge tackle there. We've got the short corner, though, up our sleeves. Look at it. They, they'll never suspect it. Salako whips it in. It's going to be dealt with, though. 5-2 it remains right now. Ten minutes left. I don't want to get complacent, but I think the job is done. I think we're going to get the win here. Maybe it's a question of by how many. Also, I'm being told to bring on Stuart. And you know what? We've not seen Stuart do well in a while. Let's bring him on the pitch for the last three minutes. Young, give it to Gaza at the edge. Or just do that. Just as I think we've seen the final highlight, another one comes in, and that is what we are going to end on. I imagine. With four minutes left, Seth Johnson has lost his head. His team are relegated. He's just jumped in two-footed. And it's going to be the final bit of action we see. We win our final game of the year. A flurry of goals in the second half. Oh, I'm very, I'm very proud of you, lads. I'm very proud of you. And you can see here, Leicester lost 2-1. Everton could only draw. And with that, we climb up to 13th. In the end, we were... Well, three points off the top half finish that I desired. And actually Blackburn, who we lost to recently, um, one of those teams finishing above us. Things could have been very different. We, we were so close to that top half finish. I'm not sure I'd describe any of our performances today as Brazilian-like, despite the theming around me. But we do win a Derby County player. Who have Derby got? Uh, I mean, in terms of actual ability, Poom is the best, but I don't think there's a goalkeeper needed. I'm thinking Malcolm Christie could be the one. You know, give the team another really, really good striker to end things with. You know what? Malcolm Christie, a player who didn't quite make it in real life. I think he had a fair few issues with injuries. We're going to move him to our club. He is our departing gift. The Jason Yule replacement, they're calling him. And, uh, well, with good reason. Look at that. They are quite similar. He he's going to be the future, everyone, of football. Mark my words. He is going to be great. But anyway, gang, that is going to wrap up this final win one, take one episode from me today. As I said, I think we'll do one more video where I maybe go forward a couple of years. Just see what becomes of our Charlton squad that we were able to assemble. Who will fill my boots as I move on? How high will they be able to climb with the players we got them? I mean, if they don't sell anyone, they should do pretty well, I feel like, because they've got some really good younger players in there who could develop. If you have enjoyed this series, do drop a like on the video. As I said, there's a number of reasons why I'm not going to do another season with Charlton. I'm not going to do a win another win one, take one right away. But I do think as just a little bit of a change of pace, this has been a really, really fun series. It's given me a chance to experiment with some editing on the videos and stuff, um, which hopefully has been noticeable and has kind of made the viewing experience that little bit more enjoyable. In terms of what you can look forward to coming up on the channel, if you've not seen it, I did a video of my England squad for the Euros. Early on next week, uh, we're going to start a mini Let's Play where we just play through the Euros as England with all the real fixtures. The thinking with that series being is that we cover one match an episode, but in a load of detail. So prior to every game, I'm going to study the op opposition, work out what their squad's looking like, and really try and, you know, counter strat every little thing I can. Look at set-piece routines to target specific oppositions, and kind of micromanage football manager in a way you can never really do as a club manager over the course of a season. But when it comes to a cup competition, is that a little bit more possible? 
shall we say. Thank you so much for your support on this series. It does mean a hell of a lot. If you've had a favorite moment of this save, a favorite player of this save, let me know it down in the comments. And well, until the next adventure, take care. It is me, Jack, and I'll see you guys very soon. I'm out.